Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with our next topic for this training session which is on support packages and add-ons. So basically what happens is that whenever you do any upgrade, say for example in this particular case these are the software components with SAP NWAS ABAP 7.00. Here you can see in this particular slide here you can see it is SAP NWAS ABAP you have SAP underscore basis component, you have SAP underscore ABA component. So basis component is for the basis functionality, underscore ABA is for the cross applications, SAP underscore BW is for the business information warehouse functionality. Then you have ECC is central core component, you have SAP underscore APPL which is central application without HR. Then we have the human resources that is SAP underscore HR. Then here you have SAP CRM, this is SAP underscore CRM. Okay, so basically these are the software components for SAP NetWeaver AS ABAP 7.00. So just take note that at the base you have these core components, then you have the central core component SAP ECC. See, you have a plugin and you have these different components with things like you can have many softwares okay so let's go to the next slide basically how we use this information for the upgrades what happens say for example existing you are at this stage okay so you are beginning of availability is this end of maintenance is this so this is the end of maintenance but for 46 you can see beginning of availability is this and end of maintenance is case then you have for 7.0, 6.0, it is beginning of availability is this. And these are the different support packages that is there. So if we want to find out, okay, at this stage we want to upgrade our EI 3.1i is at this stage or 4.x, we are at this level. Then we need to find out relevant support level, package level for this. Otherwise, in case if we don't go, go anything above this what will happen is that if there are the components over here we will end up losing the data which is not recommended so take note that we will find out the relevant component and make sure that we bind the support packages of the destination release to the upgrade okay so support packages on the start release are produced also after the potential destination release has been shipped okay so basically in this particular slide I am just trying to tell you the previous slide whatever we explained say for example in 3.1 I LCP 99 for example has been shipped after the shipment of ECC 6 say this is shipped 99 basically is shipped after the ECC 6 is shipped so there are a couple of releases after that so there are changes happened after that so when we are upgrading our system, we need to make sure that we are not just making selecting ECC software component only, but we need to make sure that we need to put these packages up to here so that we find a relevant component, relevant support package, which is for this particular release. So this is just an example. So just take note that we should be binding the support packages of the destination release. See destination release is 99 so we need to bind the support packages that is we need to go for at least 5. If we go anything below 5 or if we don't include those support packages we end up in losing the data which is which might have been added during uh, the changes which might have brought in the, by these support packages. Okay so as an example what we saw is that say 3.1i LCP 99 is shipment is shipped after the shipment of ECC 6.0. So basically, this is this is shipped after the shipment of our ECC system. Okay, on each potential destination release, support packages are available to say what we are seeing here that at this release we have a potential component this potential component this. So we need to find out a relevant bind package at that particular release okay there is some relation between the support packages usually fixes have been made at the same time for different releases 
An upgrade from 3.1i support package level 99 to ECC 6.2 support package level 0 would put partially downgrade the system. So basically if you are trying to upgrade your system and you are at currently this level and if you just upgrade and just apply this particular package for the support packages for the upgrade you potentially end up in downgrading your system by this uh, additional functional functionality which is brought up by these five support packages okay so it is potential it is possible to bind the support packages to the upgrade you can go directly to ecc 6.0 support packages 5 or higher in this example so advantage is that no need to supply the support packages on the destination release after the upgrade and temporary that is no downgrade so just take note that this is the very important especially when you are performing an upgrade so whenever you are performing an upgrade you need to find out a support packages which is relevant basically which is released after uh, say for example I am at 99 I should go for if I am upgrading from this to this I should go for 40 if I am upgrading from this to this I should go for 5 support packages so we need to find out a relevant support package and bind that during the upgrade itself not after the upgrade is done okay that's what i wanted to cover in this particular training session thank you for joining and have a nice day bye bye